Hello my darlings, this is a very highly requested video and this is just one part of it because I will be definitely doing the Middle Eastern Arab perfumes version of it. Um, today we're going to focus on like general, you know, designer slash niche. And these are the fragrances that are super projecting, that leave an intoxicating trail, all right? And uh, I've done such videos in the past and these that I have here are newer fragrances in my collection, all right? So I do not really want to repeat myself over and over again. I still stand by the older videos. However, these one uh, these ones are the ones that are newer in my collection. There's only one or two fragrances that are a bit older and this is just a kind reminder for you to check them out. All right, so let's start and uh, we are going to start with my own fragrance and that is Lost in a Dream. This really does leave an intoxicating trail. This is marshmallow, croissant, milk, figs, uh, coffee, sandalwood. This is everything that a lactonic sweet fragrance lover would dream of. It is a little bit, I mean, not even a little bit, it is quite similar to commodity milk. However, this one is way more complex, way more structured um, and uh, also way more long lasting. So you, if you love lactonic fragrances, if you like sweet, if you like gourmand and you want something that will last and will project, then check out Lost in a Dream. It's been created by Bertrand de Chauffeau uh, and he works in a lab that pretty much nine out of 10 creates very long lasting fragrances. So yeah, great perfume oils here. And I still have this discount code, which is Paulina10 that you can use for this fragrance. Now it's been restock and uh, it's available worldwide. So yeah, Lost in a Dream, check it out guys. I love wearing this. I love mixing it with vanilla fragrances and some um, more fresh fig fragrances as well. So yeah, there's a massive variety of scents that you can mix it with, even though it's a complex scent. So I love Lost in a Dream, obviously, and I know so many of you love it too. So that's the first one. And speaking of Navitus, I did include it, I think, in such that kind of a video a while ago already however i wore it today and i was like i smelled myself all the time and i got so many compliments because i went to my nail salon and you know girls were all over it and this is ambrosia imperial also from navitus this is your banana caramel dates oriental dessert dream it is very sweet it is also very potent it projects so beautifully it's really intoxicating truly 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 intoxicating and uh, as far as i know if you buy two uh, of navitus fragrances no matter where you live you get free shipping um so yeah i would i would consider that i really really would <laughs> so yeah these two from navitus so beautiful when it comes to performance they will leave that beautiful bubble behind you so that's that next fragrance that i wanted to mention is from the gate paris and this is called memories this is also very sweet this is very cherry this has some maple syrup in here as well this is also tobacco a bit woody it's gooey, very syrupy sweet fragrance with a tobacco undertone, tobacco woody undertone. I love it so, so much. And as far as I know, this is their bestseller. And now I am so, so happy to announce that I managed to get a discount code for the whole The Gate perfume collection on their website. And the code is Paulina. It's gonna be linked below for you guys. So check it out, this has an amazing performance. If you love fragrances that have a heavy dose of cherry and sweetness and some amberiness, then check out this. Memories is so, so good and you will not regret any penny that you spent on it. And they actually do have very nice prices as well. So check them out if you haven't already. This is not 
a super duper popular brand yet uh, but trust me quality is 10 out of 10 so yeah memories from the gate if you love cherry syrupy sweet tobacco amber scents this is really good really really good okay the next one that i want to share with you i think i purchased it maybe two months ago or so this is vanilla powder from Mathieu premiere and this is coconut powder vanilla and broxen this is what it is to me extra potent extra potent i sprayed my jacket with it a while ago like right after i got it and i still can kind of smell it so it's insane it's truly insane if you are a fan of vanilla you will probably really like it however do keep in mind that there's ambroxan and it's quite a heavy one all right so because of that ambroxan it gives you a unisex touch but also it gives you so much longevity and projection such an amazing sillage on this one it's gorgeous it is still sweet don't worry it's powdery still um but that ambroxan is definitely there all right but i love it i love it to bits this is one of my favorite vanillas at the moment you know i love coconut so if you combine vanilla and coconut i'm, I'm sold so yeah that is matia premier um, vanilla powder and this is my favorite out of their whole collection um, i did have santal austral however if santal austral is not giving enough to you just as it didn't do enough for me uh, check out Lost in a Dream because I read on Fragrantica, I think the Polish one, Polish Fragrantica, someone put it very accurately that Lost in a Dream is everything that Santal Austral from Mattia Premier was uh, that person hoping for. So I kind of agree with that. So yeah, just saying, just saying. <laughs> okay, next one, Byron Black Dragon gorgeous heavy duty fragrance with a lot of mango it leans definitely tropical a little bit woody it's very creamy oh i love it i oh it's so unique such a unique tropical sweet fragrance and it's very very hard to explain how it really smells you just have to smell it for byron i do have discount codes check the description box below uh, but black dragon is very underrated and it should be more hyped up way more than it is because it's exquisite it's truly exquisite to the point i'm currently loving it more than mula mula i said it performance 10 out of 10 on this one all right i'm just quickly i promise quickly gonna mention amwash guidance performer of all performers 10 out of 10 and funny enough many girls who smelled me wearing this in milan during l'accent they were sure that i was wearing something very sandalwood heavy kind of like piano santal or something like that so on me it doesn't pull too sweet however then i met with karim um and he said that um to him, it kind of smells like hibiscus mahajad on me, which is very interesting. But apparently, it pulls differently in different environments. This is a powerhouse, so love it or hate it, scent-wise, this will give you all the compliments. The performance is a masterpiece here. So just a quick mention, because I don't want to bore you with it. It is new in my collection, but um, I'm abusing it, so I have to stop a little bit. Okay, next one I have is from EPC, and by the way, all EPC fragrances are very high on the performance scale. So it doesn't really matter which one you get, you will get the performance. However, this one projects like a monster, and this is Velvet Incense. I love it. This is... Okay, it does have incense in the name, but it's not too smoky. Some people compare it to Baby Cat from YSL, 
but um, baby cat is way more like vanilla sweet um, a little bit like animalic whereas this one is still a bit vanillic but it's way more ambery and a bit citrusy at the top and smoky as well I love it such a high performer guys this is insane of a scent I love it so check out velvet incense It's definitely unisex so you know maybe sample it first however if you have same taste as mine then I think you can buy buy for sure so yeah I love velvet incense it's actually my newest one from EPC and I'm waiting for their newest collection that I'm very excited to review for you guys very soon okay next one is from designer and this is the best the best Lancome La Vie Bell flanker ever Dilex Très this is a rose iris and oud with that hint of the original la vie belle dna this one performs so well no matter the environment it stays put on clothes on skin it's so long lasting 10 out of 10. so if you want to have something that is a bit like la vie belle in your collection don't even think about getting the original get this this is amazing the best flanker that's ever been created so yeah so so good uh, the biggest bottle is 50 ml but it's more than enough for you you're not going to use that much amazing it's powdery it's very sweet it's also reminding me a little bit of oud bouquet uh, not too much but a little bit yes so I love it so so much this is such a great one another fragrance that is a bit older in my collection but uh, again this is a reminder that you have to have it okay this is only nomad sugar leather absolutely phenomenal when it comes to sillage it will turn heads it will give you compliments it's so sexy so so sexy it's insane this is the most beautiful sweet sugary leather scent that ever existed don't be afraid of the leather because um for me this is not like a strong masculine thing going on here not at all it's actually very smooth and very much sweet so i would say it is definitely gourmand leaning it's that sugary and this performs so well it's incredible and of course for only nomad you guys know i worked with them for years now of course i have a discount code for you so check them out sugar leather is definitely one of the first perfumes you should get from the brand there are a couple more and i am planning a dedicated video for only nomad to give you like a buying guide where you can see what are my favorites and the review of each fragrance um, but sugar leather should be your first it really should so yeah i love it such a good performer now i have a new release from sospiro and this new collection came in free free new scents and this one is so so strong this is traviata and this is aromatic a little bit herbal but quite fresh and woody and sweet it is unisex actually the most unisex out of the whole collection because the rest is very like sweet girly feminine this one is the most unisex but this is so unique and so beautiful I'm sure you guys will love it and guys look at the bottle the bottle is just insane and it's all velour as also Spiros I love it so yeah, Traviata, mm. so good, like a sweet, aromatic, a bit woody scent, <coughs> chef's kiss. This one is amazing and this one projects, like projects. So gorgeous, gorgeous scent for people who love more unique fragrances. The next one is such a heavy gourmand. This is Vive Amor caramel pop and guys this pretty much smells like caramel coated popcorn that's what it is 
it's super sweet super caramelly with a little bit of saltiness you know that popcorn vibe typical popcorn vibe to me it's way better than the house of wood what about pop like a hundred times better this is caramel popcorn down to perfection and it's actually wearable you do have to be a fan of heavy gourmands you do have to be a fan of caramel obviously but if you are this is going to be your dream come true and of course for viva more discount code is below for you guys this is phenomenal truly phenomenal um you know all these new releases i also have like i have the whole new collection vanilla vice such a great baby cat alternative so strong such a gorgeous vanilla but for me actually i think the biggest sillage you will get from caramel pop so check it out it's incredible i have two fragrances that i have to mention together because i'm exploring the brand and i'm in love so the first one is of course bianco latte from giardini di toscana and the other one is the newest one that i have and that is bora bora and you know what guys these perform like i have no words i have no words the longevity out of this world the performance the sillage the projection wow just wow so bianco latte is like your typical vanilla um like sugary benzoin caramelly uh, more toffee than caramelly to my nose but like very very gourmand uh, of a scent so this is like straight up vanilla gourmand scent now if you want something more like spring summer get bora bora you will get the same vanilla as in bianco latte but not as sugary sweet this one is still very sweet but this one is infused with coconutty tropical florals like you have some tiara here coconut it's powdery but still very very sweet heavy vanilla so you cannot go wrong with these or this they are both amazing i suggest getting both honestly if i could give you any advice today get these both because this one will give you gourmand all year round and you know your heavy hitter for all the vanilla lovers for fall and winter even spring as well and this one is your summer tropical heaven again for all the vanilla lovers because it's still very heavy of a vanilla <sighs> but it's amazing amazing and they project and just do their thing like magic trust me okay i have two more fragrances first one is kama from pen noir this is their newest release and this is blackberry cotton candy leathery scent it is to die for there's also some like oody touch from cypriol oil it makes my eyes just roll out in the back of my head it's so good and they are strong all these fragrances from Pernois are so strong I have four at the moment I have Kama the newest one the cotton candy then I have Vitias which is the freshest one like a sweet fresh scent then I have Naki which is my another favorite this is way more fruity than Kama but still very feminine but I would say Naki and Kama are the most feminine out of them all Naki will be your very fruity musky scent and Kama is your um, blackberry cotton candy leathery scent gorgeous just gorgeous trust me just trust me on this one okay just trust me <laughs> okay guys so that is for Père Noir. again discount code in the description box and last but not least um, my newest acquiry that's how you say it I think so uh, Gritty Mango Wood newest release from Gritty this is fruit bulb heaven this is fruits to perfection but yet it's fresh almost a little bit aquatic but so very fruity and then there's this super sweet beautiful oud in the base oh, amazing so mango oud 
I love it. The performance, 10 out of 10, reminds me a little bit of Ajayeb Dubai portrait from La Tafa, which is another one. This is another story. We will leave it for the Arab version of these fragrances that leave the trail of, of magic, basically. They are a little bit similar, but um, I don't think it's redundant having both. Uh, to me, Mango Aoud from Griti is way more fruity sweet, way more dense on those fruits and sweeter in general. I love it so much. It's insane. This one is just insanely good. So check it out, guys. Uh, I think that's it. I think that's it for today. I could go on and on, but these are my favorite, very highly performing fragrances that I recently purchased in the recent months or, re or received. These are the best when it comes to leaving the trail and performing overall. So yeah, thank you so much for watching my darlings. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please do not forget to subscribe because um, there's not too many of you subscribing. Please, please, please give me some love and subscribe to this channel and give this video a thumbs up and see you in my next one. Bye guys.